Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about skincare. It has been 12 weeks. Well actually it's been longer. It's been half of October, November, December, January and a week into February. So this routine actually has gone a lot longer than I normally do. But nonetheless, this is an affordable, lazy person skincare routine. If you're someone who doesn't care about skincare, it's just not really your priority and you just can't be bothered giving that good research and looking into it and you just think, oh, I don't really care. I just want a simple routine. Then this routine's for you. These products may or may not be good. I'm going to be reviewing them, so stay tuned and keep watching. But you will get the gist of what a basic skincare routine is and it's just going to help anyone who is a little bit lazy when it comes to the skincare. You know, not all of us, it's not everyone's pride and joy. Skincare is my pride and joy, but it's not everyone else's pride and joy. So nonetheless, I hope you like this video. If you do, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I do post a lot of questions on Instagram as to whether what you'd like to see on YouTube and just also post really up to date makeup looks, nails, beauty, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, let's just get straight into this video and I will see you soon. First up to talk about is our cleanser. For, so for this routine, and to keep it dead simple, I chose this. This is the Pons Cold Cream Cleanser. So Pons is a US brand. It's something that you don't see in like Superdrug or Asda or anything like that in the UK, but you can purchase it on Amazon and made sure I could get these products somewhere. If, we, if you were from the UK. I can't speak on behalf of anywhere else in the world, but if you're from the UK, you can still get this on Amazon. It retails at $8.99 in Walgreens in the US, excluding tax. This is the 269 gram tub. If you want the 269 gram tub and you're from the UK, this is um, $10.99, $10.99 on Amazon Prime. So it's a really affordable skincare. $10.99 is a lot cheaper than some of the cleansers I use. I use the Kiehl's Cleansing Oil and that's £26. So in comparison for the size of this tub, you can't go wrong with this already. Then from that, I ended up looking into Pons. This wasn't the reason I chose Pons, believe it or not. It's going to be a product I'll explain in a bit. But I chose Pons because of something I'd already seen. And then I ended up looking into Pons. And Pons actually believe in this slogan is that your skincare shouldn't have to have bells and whistles and a million and one different things attached to it. 16 products, 17 serums. They believe that your skincare should be simple and you shouldn't have to use a million and one products. So that was what drew me even more to Pons because I wanted this video to be really simple and really easy. So that was what made me pick it up. The product claims that it gets rid of makeup, dirt, it's hypoallergenic for sensitive skin. It doesn't clog your pores and it will also infuse vital moisturising elements into your skin when you're using it. So instantly I was like, oh, it covers all bases, got to purchase it. So it did. And um, I'm not going to lie, I am obsessed with this product. It is one of my favourite things at the minute. It's so nice when it goes on. It's a cold cream, obviously, you put it on a dry face. You can take it off with a cotton pad or a muslin cloth. I use a muslin cloth because... I just prefer to. It got rid of every single bit of dirt in one wash off my face. Now I did see a drag queen using this product as well when I was looking into the company and he used it twice to take off his drag queen makeup. So if you can get drag queen makeup off with this, you're getting anyone's makeup off with this because he done one and it was pretty much off and then he just done a double cleanse, which is what you're supposed to do. When you get a facial, you will get a double cleanse. You don't just wash your face once, you are supposed to wash your face twice to make sure you get all the nitty gritty bits out. But nonetheless, my face was spotless. Even when I went over with like a glycolic pads to test it, I made sure one day and thought, you know what, I'll just be on the safe side. Go over my skin with a glycolic pad and see if all the dirt has come out and all the makeup isn't there. And there was not a tiny bit of makeup on that pad. However, there's only one thing that it doesn't do. And it doesn't reach your lash line when you've got waterproof mascara on. However, saying that, there's plenty of cleansers that don't do that unless you get it in your eye and then it starts stinging and then you've got blurred vision and all that palaver. So that didn't actually bother me. I don't think I've ever had the cleanser been able to get that, penetrate that deep into my lashes that it's got every single tiny bit off. Once you go in with an eye makeup remover, every little bit is off your eyes. But... It didn't clog my pores, I didn't have a reaction to it, and the best thing about it is it does leave your skin 
smooth, hydrated, moisturised afterwards. Everyone's been in the situation, if you're over 18, where you, if you are over 18, over 18 um, where you will be drunk and you'll come home and you're coming home from a night out and you're bladdered and you just do not want to take your makeup off. It's like the f you're ready for bed and then you realise and you're like, oh, I've got to take my makeup off. If you're like me, you'll take your makeup off in the, the taxi. I get in the taxi as one person and leave another. But I'll get into that maybe in another video on what I do when I'm on my way home from a, a night out. But um, nonetheless, I have been in them situations where I've maybe had a handbag that's too small and I've had to take it off when I get home. This is going to be your best friend, even if it's after a long shift at work and you've done maybe 17 hour day and you just can't be bothered or you've been traveling all day or whatever it is and you're just exhausted and you just want to get into bed. This is going to help you a little bit till the next morning. So when you wash your face and you use it, you put it on the cold, you put the cold cream on your dry skin, you use the muslin cloth, you take it off. When you feel your skin afterwards, it doesn't leave a residue. It feels as though you've had your moisturiser on for, say, an hour. Do you know when all your moisturiser is really soaked in and you put it on bare skin and don't put makeup on? That's what it feels like. It is lovely. It's really nice. It does leave your skin hydrated and moisturised so that if you are exhausted or whatever and just can't be bothered, it saves you a little bit because you might not make it to put your moisturiser on. All in all, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. And the only deduction is that little bit with the makeup on the waterline, the um, mascara. And I just think I can't give it a 10 out of 10 because it doesn't get rid of that teeny tiny bit. But nonetheless, this is my new fave. I may have just kicked the Kiehl's cleansing oil to the sides because... I'm loving this. I really, really am. So, 9 out of 10. Next up in the skincare routine was an eye serum. And for this, I chose the Nip and Fab No Needle Fix Eye Serum. Is that right? Nip and Fab No Needle Fix Eye Serum. And the reason why I'm looking down is because this is now the bottle. The label is that. There's no lids. And yeah. So let me just get into what the product actually claims. So it claims it firms, volumizes, reduces the sign of wrinkles, tenses the skin, smooths, hydrates, and softens. So that's what it claims. It retails at $19.95. So for a drugstore brand, it's not actually that cheap. So for a drugstore, I thought that was quite pricey, but Nip and Fab are normally really good at doing special offers. So you can normally get like two for three or buy one, get one half price, all that sort of stuff. So it's not normally that bad in this situation i never had to pay full price for all my products from nip and fab for this video just because i needed to buy them there and then but it claims all that so i was like right okay let's go we'll go with that because it covers a lot of bases it hydrates it does all what you need an eye serum to do for me i haven't got loads of wrinkles i've got like laughter lines here like i've got them there and I can get dry skin around my eyes so for me the hydrating element is the most important part of an eye serum I found when you put it on so what I do is I would pump it onto my ring finger and then I'd start on the outer corners and work my way in underneath I did feel that like it tenses the skin you do feel that like um tightness which I really really liked and it did make my eyes appear a little bit a little bit more firmer whether that's a mental thing in my head thinking yeah it does but it did make them feel at least firmer. Definitely made them feel firmer. It kept them nice and hydrated. And it did keep the skin nice and soft and supple. However, I didn't notice any volumizing, any, any wrinkles going down. or I didn't find it was that smooth on the skin either. I found like you had to be careful when applying makeup on top of it. So there was pros and there was cons. There was definitely cons. The high hydration part of it was definitely the biggest pro for me. Um, and the feeling of tenseness, whether that was actually doing anything, I can't tell from the start in October to now. I can't see any difference in my skin around my eyes. But the, for the hydrating element, it was really good. However, I'm going to have to deduct massively for the packaging. So yes, my lid's not on there. It's not. That's not my fault. I keep my skincare in a tub like this. I would understand if I'd been throwing this in a bag or throwing it in that box and I'd been jiggling about, but I put the lid on it and then I put it in there and then when I come to take it out, the lid would have fell off. 
and then I put the lid back on, no sooner would I put it back in and it fall off again. And I was just thinking, that's not me, that's the packaging. And for me, when it comes to skincare, you don't want to start your day off by putting... You wouldn't use dirty hands to put your skincare on. You'd use clean, you'd always use clean hands. And it's my job to be really particular with my health and hygiene. I'm a makeup artist and a beautician. So for me, you've got to make sure your lids are on, everything's properly done. Labels can come off. That's completely fine, so long as you know what's in them. Or you can then label make them, but... For me, the lid coming off was dead, dead annoying. It was really irritating. There is a little hole where you, obviously your serum comes out of. That was gathering little bits on the ends. And it's just not keeping it clean. I was finding myself making sure it was clean and wiping it over. So for me, it just, that was a massive deduction. But overall, I'd probably give this a 6 out of 10. And that was mainly for the hydration. But it, the price, the lids, the fact that I didn't see all the key points like that it claims to do, actually doing it. So for me, I'm gonna give this six out of Next 10. in the skincare was the Full Face Serum. We've only got one more product after this. This is how simple the skincare routine was. But this one is another nip and fab product. So I chose the Glycolic Serum. So that's this here. The Nip and Fab Glycolic Serum. And this claims to have 4% glycolic acid, which smooths the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It has a pore away, which minimizes the appearance of enlarged pores. And it has aloe vera for smoothness and calming the skin. So that's what it claims. It retails at $14.95. So that was more, that was cheaper than the eye serum, which I don't quite get why but it was cheaper than the eye serum nonetheless. This is also £5 now on the Nip and Fab website, which is a little bit irritating. As a consumer, you know things go in the sale. I get that. And I know Nip and Fab do £5 sales around Christmas time. For me, it starts to make me think, how can you charge £14.95 for the serum originally? and then drop it down to five pounds and still be making money off that product. What's in it? What's in it for you? To, how much money is going into this bottle if you can sell it for five pounds and then still make money? Now, I'm a huge fan of Nip and Fab. I've actually used a lot of Nip and Fab over the years, but I'm starting, because I've started up YouTube, I found that I'm really scrutinizing the products a little bit more, which is exactly why, because I wanna give you the reviews that you want. But it just made me think like five pounds is so cheap. It's not half price. That's that's over half less. If it had been ten pounds and dropped to a five, I'd have got it a little bit more. But to be fourteen ninety nine to drop to five pounds, it just made me question the products a little bit. It just made me question the mentality of how you can what how you can drop something from that price. But nonetheless, moving on to the product itself, sorry, I just thought I'd get that out there, maybe give you a little, you know, food for thought sort of thing. The benefits are all named on the bottle, like I've just said. For me personally, it did smooth out the texture on my skin. I did find it was a lot smoother. And it was hydrated, but whether that was from my moisturizer, I don't quite know, my skin, was just as hydrated using this as it was with the Ola Enrickson. So all in all, it did keep my skin hydrated. It did make them, it did make it smoother as though it was retextured the skin. However, I don't think it hid me pores at all. I've got texturization. I've had that since I was little. It's never gonna go. I'm over trying to cover it. Like I may as well just get over it. And it didn't hide any of them pores. However, I did find makeup sat on this really, really well and my skin did appear really nice, and it was calming on the skin. I did find it really soothing and calming, but it didn't rid any fine lines or wrinkles, didn't get rid of the, hide the pores. It was more just the smoothness and the way it was on the skin. So for me, I'm gonna give this a five and a half out of 10. I am a bit annoyed about the price drop because just, for, just out of sheer, thought food for thought like how come it can be that cheap now but it wasn't when i first bought it and stuff like that but other than that yeah i'm gonna give this a five and a half out of ten so for a drugstore 14.95 isn't bad sorry 14.99 isn't bad um if you're gonna get it for a fiver then it's it's a bargain if you get this for five pounds then yeah 
purchase it, give it a go. Would I pay 14 99 again? No, not, not a chance. And again, the lid situation happens. This is a much bigger hole in this one. So for me, more dirt could get into this one, more dirt can gather around that hole where the sedum's coming out, that dirt then getting in your skin. So it's just a bit bizarre that I've got two tub, two bottles with no lids and they just go in there. So yeah, I probably wouldn't purchase it again for 14 99 but if you got it for a fiver, I'd definitely say give it a go. Same goes for this, you can get this for a fiver, which it didn't seem to, but if you can, then I'd give that a go for a fiver, but other than that, I probably wouldn't waste your money on them. Next in the skincare routine, and actually the last major product, is moisturiser. Now this was what got me into Pons. This is the Pons Dry Skin Cream. The reason why I was attracted to this product was Cardi B's makeup artist. She is obviously worldwide now doing Cardi B's makeup, and if it's good enough for Cardi, it's good enough for me. And she posted a few times that she'd used this cream. She you know, was putting on a video, there was no sponsored, no nothing. So I thought, okay, I'll give it a go. Like, I'll definitely give that a go. Now, this is under the same rules as the cold cream, it's hypoallergenic, doesn't clog the pores, it's dermatologically tested, our own, our unique blend of moisturizers significantly reduces dryness, strengthening the skin from the inside to give you soft and hydrated skin on the outside. This can also be used morning and night. Let's start with the scent. <laughs> it is very fragranced. It smells like your nan. And <laughs> by that I mean, what a say. Like, I don't really know whether I will to explain that. It smells like your nan. Both my nans smell like that. Like that older person smell. Maybe a bit similar to if anyone ever used, or can, my nan uses it as moisturiser, the Nivea in a tin. It's got a similar scent to the Nivea in a tin, if anyone's ever smelled that. It's just got that old lady skincare smell, basically. A proper old school scent, and that was the only negative for me. I wish they didn't have a fragrance, so I wish they unfragranced it. So for me, it would have been a much better moisturiser if it didn't have that fragrance in it. But that was one deduction out from the 10. Did it hydrate? Yes. This has got to be one of the most hydrating moisturizers for the price that I've ever had in my life. So this is the 111 gram tub. Like I said, you can get 111 or you can get 269. So as you can see, they're the size differences. I purchased, they didn't have the big one for me, sorry. That was the chair. <laughs> um, they didn't have the big one for me. It was the two, you could only get the small ones of this and the big cold cream cleanser or the small cold cream, cold cream cleanser. So I chose to get two of these um, and that was where I seen the three for two offer. So I didn't pay for one, which wasn't the end of the world. But it retails at $8.99 in Walgreens or any drugstore in the U US, excluding tax. And then I can get it on Amazon for £6.70 for this size tub and £14.95 for the bigger tub, the size that is the cold cream. So it is really, really affordable. If you wanted to give it a go, it's only £6.70 for this size tub, which is a perfect size tub for giving something a go. And if you don't like it, it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg. It's really hydrating, really deep hydrating, actually. It leaves a nice glow on the skin. It, I've had no dryness on my face since using this. The only thing I will say is it's thick. A little really does go a long way. So I've had this tub since Boston in October and I keep having to use that as my ballpoint of when it was. So I've had this since October and that's how much is left in it. This is still the same tub I used. And if you wanna see inside the cold cream, that's the cold cream. I can't get over how much. I mean, I've scooped my finger into that to try and get it out. I've, you know, there's loads in there. But this has just been unbelievable. I can't get over it. But a little really does go a long way because it can make you greasy. I'm assuming Cardi B's got very, very dry skin because 
I would not use this on an oily person. If you have oily skin, this isn't the one for you. Pons do other skincare, but this is definitely not for you. Maybe if you want to put it on for nighttime cream, then that might be fine for bed. But as so I'm dry skin, I'm mostly dry sometimes combo, but this is definitely for the dry skin people who need that real pick me up. And it does, it does exactly what it's supposed to do. If you're gonna apply makeup on top of it, the way I would recommend doing it is applying it five minutes before your moisturizer. Sorry, applying the moisturizer five minutes before your makeup. It'll just help your makeup sit better and gives it time to soak in. It does need a bit of a soak in time. That's one of the things that comes with using this product, but it is amazing. I'm gonna give this a seven and a half out of 10, which is high. And the main deduction is the fragrance. It is very, very, very fragrant. And I don't understand why it's fragrant when it's for sensitive skin. So, because normally fragrance is a massive one that people have a reaction to. So this for me is amazing, but I just wish they'd get rid of the fragrance. If you are happy with that routine and that is all you want to do, that is basically it. That is what I have used for the since October. That is since the old Enrickson. That is as simple as I've been keeping it. However, if you want to add in some extra elements to that routine, just maybe you're thinking to yourself, that's a little bit, I need a little bit more. I need just that little extra. Then I was also using two times a week a sheet mask. So I go between these masks and the simple ones because I can pick them up in Home and Bargain between £1.50 and £2. This one is the Moisture Bomb. This is the Super Hydrating and Glow Reviving. And for me, I love this Garnier mask. I also love the simple masks. They're really good because they aim for like skin that's in the pollution a lot. So say you're out and about, you may work, I don't know, in a train station or anything like that. They have ones specifically for that, so to cater for that need. So this has also been really, really helpful. And it's also just a really nice treat for your skin. So I've been using a sheet mask once or twice a week. It's me, so I'm gonna say twice a week for me, unless I was having a really, really busy week over Christmas. But twice a week with that skincare routine. If you want a little extra as well, maybe you're thinking I want a nighttime moisturizer, I don't wanna use the same nighttime moisturizer, then these are your saving grace. These are booster drops. So what you do with these, this is the BYBI Strawberry Boosting, 100% natural, certified vegan and cruelty free, 100% cold pressed strawberry seed oil. So what you do with these is you take them and you drop them into your moisturiser, two drops, and then you work that in and put it on as normal with this. So if you wanted maybe a drop that was for anti-aging or you wanted something that was, you know, to make you really glowing in the morning or to help acne or whatever it is that you want to use extra, then a booster drop is perfect. It means that you don't have to go and have a morning cream, a night cream, then another cream for this and a serum for that. I just wanted to make this routine as simple as possible and cater it for those who just genuinely don't care about skincare. So that was what I wanted to do this for. You've got a cleanser, you've got a serum, you've got an eye serum and you've got a moisturiser. They're your four basics. They're, that's the four basic stuff that you need. Anything else is an extra, an added extra. So that's the products I've been using. That's the review on those products I've been using. I hope you like this video. I hope it helps anyone who is a lazy skincare person. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. And new skincare routine will be coming up in nine to 12 weeks. I've got it in the pipeline. I'm just, I've just got to find some last minute products. But yeah, I will be doing that in nine to 12 weeks. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.